So following on from the other video on time tracking on mobile, I just wanted to talk about time tracking on laptop um, or device. So here, as opposed to the m.workflowmax.com, I've gone to my.workflowmax.com, to the standard website and just logged in. And in this case, I can see everything. Depending on your access level, you may not see every option here. You may only see certain things. Um, but the main things that you need are these time options down the side. So we can enter a time or we can enter a cost. Um, or I've got the option up here as well for tracking time. So simplest and easiest way to enter time on a job is just go enter time over on the left hand side. Um, then there'll be a screen pops up, so today's date by default, but I can change the date if I'm tracking time for another, for another day. Um, pick a particular job and depending on your settings, um, this might be in client order or it might be in job number order. So I'll pick this particular job for the moment. Um, then pick the task that you um, did for this work. So we did copywriting and enter your time and make sure you enter a note as this can be really important for the invoicing. So um, let's just do completed blog article copywriting um, and new media campaign. So select to save it and it will save four hours against today and you'll see this down here and then you can track to another job um, let's just do another different one just to show on the next screen. Um, and note here. And save. Um, another way to do track time, we recommend tracking time daily because that's the easiest way to record and remember everything that you've done. You can also track time weekly. So by default, when you go into the weekly timesheet, uh, this shows all jobs that I've tracked time to either so far this week. So that's this job here and this job here. Um, plus jobs that I put time to last week because the system guesses that if I put time to it last week I might also want to put time to it this week So here for example, I'll put um, a few hours to a few different jobs all around the place here um, Now you'll notice that some of them are in orange. So if I click on those those are the ones that have notes against them so here I might put um, information and notes to record um, and as soon as I step out of that, then it goes orange to show me that as well. And I can hit save, and now that will go away and put um, all of those times on all of those jobs. There is, other, there is two other ways to track time as well. So one is on the little um, time icon or stopwatch icon here. So this is a physical time track right here and right now. So I've got the two jobs that I've put time to today, um, but I can pick, let's say I'm doing um, another particular job here, and illustration, I can start the timer and the icon changes slightly. And now on the server in the background, that's tracking all of my time against um, this particular role. So as I'm just, uh, now I'll leave Workflow Max and go and do the job I'm going to do for half an hour, an hour, however long, then I can come back later on and I can knock this back on um, and, and it will track the time that I do. And I'll show you that in a moment at the end of the video. The last way you can track time to jobs is if you go into a particular job, um, and I've got a whole list here of ones in the system that I've, I'm doing some work with. Um, if I go into a particular job here, um, I can see all the information on what's going on in the job, the tasks, and so on. Um, I can go into timesheet here, and I can just record my time. I've got other people because I'm a manager here. Um, and I can record it directly against the task with some more information there. So that's probably the, the worst, I suppose I would call it, way to do it because you're going to have to go into every single job individually, which could take quite a bit of time. But if you happen to be in a job because you've looked up some information for it or something similar and you want to track your time, just go out and do it, do it straight from there. So if I go back now out, out to the overview, um, I'll show you. So if I go into enter time and weekly, you'll notice here that I can submit my timesheet. So um, the managers will talk to you about some rules around that in terms of when to submit the weekly timesheet. So, um, for example, for a particular pay week, when the next week's sheet should be in. Um, but you can submit the timesheet at any point. It does ask you to confirm that it's all correct because this will lock the timesheet up. So you'll see now here, I can't uh, submit again or anything else. Um, any changes won't be reflected. So um, it's now up to a manager to unlock my timesheet if I need to put more time in. So those are all the different ways to track time. I'll just show you now just quickly if I go back over here, just to show, so you'll spot that this is now showing two minutes and it's showing when the timer started. 
So if I wanted to, I could now stop this timer. And in this case, it's put um, the hour on the job because that's the time that I've got. But that just shows you how you can track that time that way as well. So in summary, the four ways of tracking your time are daily, weekly, the time clock up here, or directly onto the job as well. Thanks.